When the global COVID-19 pandemic began, the world's railways very quickly worked together to tackle this unprecedented situation. Their commitment was made possible thanks to initiatives taken by their platform for technical cooperation, the International Union of Railways. As UIC members, we shared information that was useful, reliable and trustworthy. By producing guidance documents, holding web conferences and creating an online database, we were able to address the main issues facing us. How do we imagine the post-crisis world? Together with UIC, we need to prepare the future of railways as part of the future mobility system, which some people are already calling the new normal. But what will this new normal look like? Building on the actions initiated in early 2020, we asked the UIC to develop scenarios to define it. Future mobility will obviously include new trends that have accelerated during the crisis, such as teleworking or urban cycling, which has boomed. It will also include a renewed approach of multimodality, since the other modes of transport are simultaneously developing, improving and sometimes undergoing a radical overhaul. The future mobility system will have to see railways playing a more prominent role based on a new paradigm for transport focusing on energy frugality and increased use of public transport. From efforts to combat climate change alone, railways, together with public transport operators, are expected to benefit from a substantial modal shift from the largest greenhouse gas emitting modes of transport. But that will only happen if we can revolutionize the customer experience. Railways have, in response to the Green Deal challenge to become the backbone of future mobility, putting the customer first. In all circumstances where it makes sense, each mode will connect with the railways to provide accessible seamless services. The railways and all the other modes will interact directly with each other innovating collaboratively and each doing what it does best to provide the optimum overall service. It's an ecosystem where all modes coexist, supporting and building one another. This is why many partnerships already exist between the railways and the other modes. But the new normal will require these partnerships to be more numerous, more widespread and more impactful. We realize, of course, that for everyone to share this vision, we need to make every effort to make the railways even more attractive. We want rail to stand for reliability, comfort, flexibility, and freedom. We also realize that to maintain our appeal, we need to continue to meet society's needs, to plan ahead, and to constantly innovate. This 铁路在其中发挥着关键的作用will soon have set out scenarios for this new normal, a vision of the future which we offer society as well as our passengers and freight customers. We have prepared a route map in order to advance in a coordinated manner to invent and innovate. Together with all stakeholders, let us take a pragmatic approach in building the new normal for mobility.